I did a short video on the different copilots and the three that we should care about. Well, Microsoft this month has changed the game a little bit, so I wanted to go over that quickly. So to recap that quickly, we have Copilot, which is just the Microsoft Copilot website. We've got Windows Copilot, which is embedded into Windows. There's an app for it. And then we've got Microsoft 365 Copilot, which is $30 a user a month, has a year commitment up front. You have to pay for the whole thing. Um, it integrates with all the Microsoft apps and is connected to your SharePoint and OneDrive, Teams, Outlook data. And um, you can build powerful agents off of it. You can chat with your data in all those areas. It's incredibly powerful. So uh, Microsoft has added one more to the game, and that is Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, a free option. This is integrated with many of the um, traditional Office apps. It's meant for business data in the sense that you can upload business data and chat with that within the session, but it doesn't automatically connect to your SharePoint, your OneDrive, your Teams chats, your Outlook, nothing like that. Um, you can also, though, add a pay-as-you-go subscription to it, which I have yet to experiment with, but could open up that functionality. And that could have pretty huge implications. It could mean that maybe only certain people in the organization need a full license, but everybody else can use what's built into Office along with a pay-as-you-go subscription. So you're overall paying a lot less to get all the same benefits. All right, we are in Excel, and I am logged in with to my Microsoft 365 account with one that doesn't have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And you can see that the Copilot button does exist in Excel and we have a Copilot chat option. So what you'll notice here, if you hit the slash command, which in the normal Microsoft 365 Copilot, it'll bring up like all the files that you have recently accessed in SharePoint OneDrive, nothing happens because it doesn't have any of those things, but I could upload documents to this to chat with. And that's fine. This is all secured under enterprise protections within Microsoft. Um, but one kind of silly, but cool feature, something that wasn't available when Copilot was first released within M365 is just the fact that it can create a pivot table. Before, when you would try to do this, uh, if you asked for a pivot table, it would basically just, huh? yeah, it wouldn't do anything at all. And so we have a pivot table now that we can actually insert into a sheet. Imagine. Okay, last thing I wanna cover, still logged in, with the account that does not have an M365 Copilot license. I'm trying to run the agent that I built during my um, HIPAA webinar video. It's basically a policy assistant that can answer staff's questions about hospital policies from files located in SharePoint. And this is saying right now that I need a license to use this app. But the thing is, is if I can connect a pay-as-you-go license to this tenant, that will open up these options. So I'm excited to experiment with this over the next few days and weeks to see how we might be able to find new ways to save our clients money 